The Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman published this week an emblem commemorating the founding of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And in this emblem there are clear changes and signs that reflect the essence of Vision 2030 and also the essence of the Saudi Arabia that bin Salman wants to create. The first of these changes is the year. Instead of putting down 1744, which is the year that is widely accepted as the year in which this kingdom was established, Bin Salman has put down 1727. And the reason being is that Bin Salman wants to erase the central role played by the religious cleric Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab in establishing the kingdom and in defining the identity of the kingdom. In other words, Bin Salman wants to suggest that the Islamic identity and religious fervor of Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab that came to define the identity came after the establishing of the kingdom and was not a pillar or was not an essence of the establishing of the kingdom itself. The second point that's important to note is that the symbols that are used in the emblem, the sign of the horse that reflects power in Arab society, the door that is supposed to represent that Saudi Arabia is open to new concepts and the like, the symbols that are used or the flag that is used in the emblem is blank. It does not even contain uh, an Islamic declaration of faith or even a scribble to symbolize the Islamic declaration of faith of La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah that is present on the Saudi Arabian flag. In other words, for Muhammad bin Salman, the Islamic declaration of faith is not essential to the identity of Saudi Arabia and was not essential to the founding of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The third point that is worth noting is that the image of a dir'iya, the, the original capital of the kingdom that is used in the government infographic that explains the emblem, the, the image that is used of a dir'iya does not contain any mosque or minaret. And dir'iya at this time, of course, would have had many mosques and minarets. In other words, Muhammad bin Salman does not even find room for Islamic representation in rep representing a dir'iyya itself. The fourth point to note is that the year that is put on the emblem is from the Gregorian calendar, not the Islamic Hijri calendar, suggesting a break with the standard calendar that is used in Saudi Arabia in favor of the Gregorian calendar. In other words, the essence of Vision 2030 according to the emblem is not just economic diversification, but the thorough de-Islamization of Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia's history, Saudi Arabia's politics, and the bid to confine and restrict Islam to the personal sphere, if that.